Oh, there. We, we talked earlier about the sweet spot on the football. In essence, where you want to hit the ball with your foot. Well, what position does your foot need to be in to hit the ball there? As you see, when you're coming through the football, you really... We talked earlier about the sweet spot on the football. In essence, where you want to hit the ball with your foot. Well, what position does your foot need to be in to hit the ball there? As you see, when you're coming through the football, you really want to focus on maintaining your foot position. From the time your plant foot hits the ground, when you begin that sweeping motion, you want to have your foot locked and set to go in the position that you're going to strike the ball with. Foot position is key because the foot position that you hit the ball with will be the direction, ultimately, that your field goal travels, hopefully through the uprights. Another question dealing with that is follow through. What kind of follow through should you have on a good kick? Really the follow through is a result of your flexibility after you hit the ball. So you don't want to focus on the follow through, you want to let it happen. As you can see in the video, when you follow through, it's just a natural course of action after you hit the ball. Something that should happen naturally is something that we call the skip through. The skip through is just a result of your follow through and your downfield momentum. We're going to demonstrate here real quick. Watch my left foot, my plant foot, how it skips through the ball as I follow through downfield. What that allows me to do is carry my momentum downfield without feeling like I have to stop everything. You don't see pitchers in baseball stop right away. They follow through. It's the same in kicking. As I come through, I want to carry this momentum downfield, which causes that skip through. In touching again on the follow through, we want to focus on not only your eyes, your shoulders, your hips, everything going downfield, but we want to focus on what happens after you kick the ball. As you come through, everything, your momentum is going to take you downfield. Okay? question I get a lot, when can I look up at the ball? Do I look up too early? Should I follow the ball? The answer to that is simple. You can look up as soon as your kicking motion is done. You see, as soon as I follow through, everything's done, I'm square, then it's time to look up at the ball. Coaches often say, don't look up, look down, keep your head down. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think a lot of times you can look up, but you need to make sure you're done with what you're doing here first. If you bring your head up too quick, there's a tendency to throw your hips and your shoulders and everything up as it follows your eyes. Now, I don't want to belabor the point about the follow-through, but a certain nuance of the follow-through is often talked about and much overlooked, and that's the arm action. You see a lot of kickers come in, leave their arm open, and a lot of kickers cross that arm over to get a good crunch at the bottom. What's best for you, I can't say. Just do what's natural, and you'll be better off. 